Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Hope everyone is doing well on this Wednesday morning, almost lunchtime, almost noonday. Hopefully you guys are at a space where you can chat with me. Um, you guys see in the title, it says you don't need to max out your social media following in order to build a six figure or sustainable, <laughs> profitable brand. And I really want to talk about that because I believe that um, sometimes social media causes people to undervalue what it is that they're carrying and also underestimate their possibility. So I have a lot of the clients who come to me are somewhere in their fifty to seventy thousand dollar range, and they want to hit that six figure mark. Um, I do have clients who are, you know, earning. Hey, Bella, babe, who are earning uh, six figures as well, um, who continue to work with me. But when I look at the demographics, many people when they start with me, they're in their fifty to seventy thousand dollar range, and they want to hit that six figure mark. And I think that social media plays a huge part in people underestimating, you know, possibility. And so I want to debunk some of those myths on today and give you all who, you know, maybe looking at social media from a different perspective. Um, I want to give you a space of a possibility for, for what it is that you're doing. So one of my clients in particular, I believe with me around the end of last year and when I say connecting with me I mean like following me on social media watching my my trainings and broadcasts and somewhere around January February of this year uh, she actually started working with me and she began she said she had made her first thousand dollar day this was prior to her you know working with me just from watching uh, videos implementing some of the mindset shifts and um, strategies that I was sharing with her. She's just ready, you know, for her next level. So um, in March, she signed up for a a renew strategy session. So that's like a 60 day time frame of working with me. But since then, um, she has created an another stream of revenue that brings her in about twenty two to twenty five thousand dollars extra without her doing any work see you know sometimes when we hear oh just 25 but many of you could use another 25k on top of what it is that you're building now um she created that particular opportunity uh but she owns her building she's a service-based business provider has a brick and mortar business she owns the building and recently um purchased a home credit score through the roof all of this good stuff and she doesn't have a lot of followers on social media. Um, I have another client who recently shared with me that she made her first $800 day. Now, some of these figures may seem, you know, normal to you um, or small to some of you. But if you think about it from this perspective, if even, at, even if it's an $800 day, if, if you have two, two and a half of those days, you're at your six figure mark. And so I think oftentimes what happens is we're uncertain about what phase we're at in the brand building process and because we see so many people on social media who may have maxed out their you know following on social media our goal becomes to um, just get a whole lot of attention on our pages and a whole lot of people following us and things of that nature and I think there is a stage in your business as you begin to scale your business where increasing uh, your awareness, I think you should always increase your awareness, but when you start really looking at increasing those social media numbers, you know, past your 5,000 friends list on social media, maxed out on um, different platforms, there's a time and a space for that. And I talked about um, the different stages of growth in a recent workshop webinar that I did called Becoming More. <clears throat> I think so many people are not certain about where it is that they actually are, like what stage they're in. And so their efforts are are on the wrong thing. 
but I want to debunk, you know, whatever your, um, the limitations that may have been created in your mind about the value of what you have to offer and the fact that it's probably a lot more profitable than you e even realize. Guys, I mean, there are people who are maxed out on social media, but not in the bank. And <clears throat> there are a few things that you need when you're really wanting to grow your brand. And I do think visibility is important, but I believe even more than visibility being important is visibility to the right people. So we're going to talk about that one today. And just to assure you, you do not need to max out uh, your social media uh, in, in order to build a six-figure brand or um, even to build a sustainable, very successful brand. You, you don't have to max out your social media in order to do that. Um, I was sharing with, with you guys before that it's a lot of people who maxed out, but that ain't what's going on behind the scenes. Do you guys get that? And if your goal becomes, let me just get a lot of people, um, what, what normally happens is you end up getting a lot of the wrong people. Hey, Sherry, how are you beautiful? You end up getting a lot of the wrong people. So maybe you get a lot of people or maybe you get a lot of opportunities, but are they paid opportunities, right? Like it's got, it's got to make sense. So we're going to talk about that one today. If you guys could do me a favor and share the broadcast out with another um, woman, service-based uh, business owner, entrepreneur who you think could use the message who may have been thinking, you know, I don't have enough followers. I believe that social media should be a part of your marketing strategy in 2019 and 20. I mean, I just feel that there, it should be included in your marketing strategy, but it is not the end all be all to you producing more profits in your business. And what actually getting clients and customers for what you desire is your clarity on what it is that you offer and who um, is who are your perfect people that find value in what it is you offer. I'm going to do a quick introduction for those of you who have never, ever, ever been on a live broadcast with me before. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I am a transformational growth strategist, meaning we're going to grow. If you work with me, my goal is for you to grow and not just grow in your business, but in your life. I'm also a business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners. Um, many of the women that I work with actually want to create one thing, more time freedom, and they want to do it while earning more revenue. Um, and so that's one of the huge things that we work on, like where is it that they really want to go? And then how can we do this in a lesser amount of time? I share with you all that one of my clients <clears throat> who started working with me at the beginning of the year hit her six-figure mark with only working three days at a time. I don't know if I shared that particular part. And then created a, a new stream of revenue that earned her twenty two to twenty five more thousand dollars a year and is currently <laughs> working on the next strategy, right, that's going to produce even more revenue. This is going to be the baby, right, that we're working on now. And um, she doesn't have a lot of followers on social media. The client I share with you who hit her $800 day, she doesn't have a lot of followers on, on social media, guys. But what she has is a lot of her perfect people or enough of her, her perfect people for her vision. And this is why I talk to you guys about vision so much because many of you are attempting to do things that don't align with your vision and they definitely don't align with what stage you're in in your vision. If you're, you know, unsure about like where am I in the process? Like what stage of growth is my business in and what do I really need? I have a great um, a replay for a workshop that I did. It was called Becoming More that you can... Um, it's uh, at bit.ly slash vbmore, bit.ly slash vbmore. And it's awesome because I do live coaching in that as well. But I think that many people just aren't clear. And I get it, guys, with social media and, you know, we're watching all these people doing all of these fabulous things, but we don't know what's really going on behind the scenes. And so one of the things that um, I really help my clients to, to do is, is really to get clear. 
and to own what it is that's valuable to them. So here are a few things that are really, really important. Your plan, one, your profits, two, and your purpose. See, if your purpose, when you're on social media, if your purpose is just to get more people to um, affirm what you post about or like what you post is that's doing it, you'll probably end up with a lot less conversion in your business. And I say that because it's easy to post things that are going to get a rise out of everyone, but it doesn't mean that those people are going to convert over into being customers for you. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys? So we can put up all of our certificates and all of the places we've been and get a lot of people to affirm and like those things. But are those people even people who would find value in what you offer, right? In the service that you have to offer. Are they your perfect people? So your purpose is going to be huge. I had a client to recently email me and I was touched. I haven't even had an opportunity to email her back yet. She emailed me on yesterday. <clears throat> but I did get a chance to take a look at what she sent. And she said, this is a huge part of my why. And she sent me a video that really, really connected with who she is. So um, this is one of my mastermind members that was in my mastermind for this year. And it's so important that you guys understand that many of you have an invalid story. I'm going to say that one more time. Many of you have an invaluable story that will bring not only clarity to the people who you're supposed to work with or who are supposed to come and have services with you, but it's going to bring a lot of clarity to yourself. And one of the exercises we do in brand clarity is we figure out more about who the person really is that's building the brand. And when you get clear on that, it begins to define a story that actually attracts your perfect people. And so the video that she sent me aligned so much with those detailed things about her life as a brand, what's really important to her, and to create this lane. And it makes what you're doing and what you're building a lot easier because you attract it, it flows, it's natural for you because you've defined the purpose of why you're doing what it is that you do. And many of your purpose is um, intertwined in your story. For instance, um, it's super, super important to me that I impact single moms and struggling families in the way. I learned, you know, maybe my third, I don't even think I, it was maybe my first or second year being a brick and mortar uh, service based business owner that I was actually overwhelmed, right? I, I was, um, I opened the business, I got married, I had a baby in a three year time frame and coming at me, all of the responsibilities of my personal life, which was dysfunctional. And my business were just all coming at me at one time. And I realized that in order to be successful in the, build, in the business that I was building, I had to figure out a way to reorganize and reshift some things. And I know that there are many uh, women, women service-based business owners who struggle with some of the same things, not feeling like they have enough time, um, feeling tied to whatever it is that they're doing. And what I did, I began creating strategies that allowed me more time, freedom, more profits. My daughter had gotten sick um, somewhere around six weeks of being born. And I ended up being out of work full time for eight months, right? So I would go in like two days a week for two hours uh, after she was maybe about eight to ten weeks. And I didn't go back full time until she was eight months. Now, there was no way... On earth, I could have done that if I didn't have other revenue streams, other systems in place. And so what it's like to be a mom, you know, running a business or a woman with more responsibilities than just the business. And so my goal is to always help my clients create more time freedom. So one of the things that's really important and and you got to move past me saying six figure, but. You know, getting to your six-figure mark is important because it frees up some of 
um, the stresses of life, right? It may not be your ultimate goal. Many of my clients have million dollar goals, you know, that they want to do over the next five to 10 years, but it may not be your ultimate goal. But when you can get to the space where you're earning six figures, there seems to be a level, well, there is a level of freedom that begins to occur as in, you know, how you're paying your bills and, and things of that nature. And so many of the clients who come to work with me, we work on that six figure strategy, keeping in mind that, you know, they ultimately want to, to shift, create other streams of revenue. But if your focus is, concern is I'm just so busy. I feel tied to the business. I don't have the energy. Then it means you need a new strategy for earning more revenue and I promise you guys it's not in getting a hundred thousand people to follow you on social media it's about you being clear about who you are as a brand and then attracting people which doesn't take tons of social media followers it doesn't so if you're feeling like well I don't have a lot of followers on social media what I want to do is not going to work it's not possible it's untrue I teach my clients inside our mastermind strategies that are inclusive of social media, but they're a lot bigger than just social media, right? So I think that your plan, your profits, and your purpose is super important. And it overrides the number of people you feel you have to have on social media in order to, to make it happen. Um, so maybe you're a service provider and you have a level of expertise in a specific area and you want to be able to offer that in an online course you want to coach teach train something of that nature did you all know that the average coach makes about twenty four thousand dollars a year and one of the reasons why i figure that number is so low is because they're doing things that are unnecessary for the stage of growth that they're actually at in their business and so just a shift in, in focus, if you feel that, you know, what you have isn't valuable enough because you don't have a lot of people on social media, most of my clients, I have a few who've maxed out, but many of my clients who are doing, they don't have a large following on social media, but they have gotten really clear about who they are as a brand. They're clear about their purpose in the marketplace. They're clear about their vision and where it is um, that they want to go. So... Your story is important. Many of you are thinking nobody really wants to hear, you know, what has transpired in my life. And I'm not saying go and spill all the beans. That's far from what I'm saying. One of the things I teach my story, but your story, your why, and your commitment is going to be important because guys you guys know if you're committed and most of us are committed to something but if you're committed to the wrong thing then it's not that that you desire so in your commitment is your endurance and your purpose and your why helps you to new levels of endurance you you know you got to start putting some action to it and <laughs> see once you start moving forward in in one area or at one pace your endurance for the thing that you're doing, it actually And so you got to get probably past yourself, but you got to get all of this stuff, whatever stuff you've been telling yourself about what it is that you truly desire to build as far as your brand is concerned and what it's going to take. You got to sometimes just dump all of that stuff, clear it out and get a new perspective about what it is that, that you're wanting to do. And I think there's a stage in your business where, um, your first goal is to get your the eyes on more just a, a lot of people, but it should always be defined. And um, I just wanted to encourage you all who don't have thousands of people or you're not maxed out on social media, I want to encourage you to not let that determine whether or not what it is that you want to build, one, going to work, and two, is valuable. That's my take on um, today, guys. I, I also want to share that I think we take time for granted. I think so many of us as we're, you know, building our brands and creating the lives that we love or desiring to, one of the biggest things I think we do is take time for granted. Um, I don't want you to have to say 2020 looks just like 
2015 or 16, 17, 18, they all look the same. Time is not waiting on us. I do believe that time can be redeemed, but I feel that most oftentimes it's the longer that we sit and wait on something that we really desire to do, we lose our momentum, we lose our drive, we lose the urgency uh, behind it. And you have something on the inside of you that someone else needs. And when you get clear and committed to that, um, you'll convert clients quicker, you'll profit greater, and um, you'll move forward in the area that you desire to go in your life and in your business. That's my take on today. Just wanted to encourage you who think, I don't have a lot of people on social media. You don't need a lot of people on social media. You just need the right people. For those of you who like to really work on building your brand and creating new profit strategies and um, and also do some life coaching because I life, I do life coaching in my mastermind as well. We are open for 2020 enrollment. Um, I'll come back and put the link in the comments and probably above, but it's bit.ly slash mastermind.e bit.ly slash mastermind e you can get clear you can earn some new revenue you can get some relief um, from whatever the pressure may be that you're having whether it's time freedom or just the need to increase your income um, whatever that is we go over it inside uh, the mastermind um, your brand story your brand messaging positioning you and people and it's not always on social media guys Okay, you guys have a super, super amazing day. I'd love to support you um, in that way. If you are a woman service based business owner, and you want to increase your profits, your time freedom, um, build a bigger brand with purpose. Um, for you, have an amazing day.